All right, we finally got it. And this is one I've been waiting to try out with you guys. This is the DC 5050 clear. This is the premium glamour clear coat from PPG. So any of you guys that follow the channel know that we spray the 2021, which is also a top of the line clear, but this is one step up. This is really supposed to have a premium gloss and a premium layout and have a lot less orange peel. So we're gonna be shooting this one with you guys today on the front end of a Tesla. We'll go ahead, prep it out, get it in the booth, and then we'll try out this new clear together. All right, so we've got our parts now on the stands. You guys know how we do it. We've got a new hood. We've got our new bumper cover. And then we have our fenders over here on this stand here that we're gonna be doing also. So we're gonna go ahead and get them prepped out. We're gonna do our normal prep on them. We do our gray scuff pad on the raw bumper, 400 on the new panels, 800 on the blends and 400 on the primer. So let's get these prepped out. I'm not gonna show you much of that because I wanna get in the booth and show you guys this clear coat. All right, so we've got everything sanded, prepped, and cleaned. And I wanted to talk to you guys real quick about the sealer, because you guys know I always talk about sealing the new factory E-coat. That way you have your best adhesion and your best holdout on your paint job. So one crucial thing to having a nice flat paint job is getting your sealer down flat, because if you don't get your sealer down flat, you're gonna be fighting it all the way up to the end and you're gonna be trying to pound on the clear coat to get a flat finish because you have a lumpy or a bumpy textured sealer. So get your sealer on as flat as possible. I like to use a premium gun. We're gonna be using the LPH 400 on this one from Iwata. That way we can get a nice flat foundation and our paint job will look that way when we're done. All right, so you guys see here, we have a beautiful flat finish with our sealer and our base, and that's gonna ensure us to have a nice top coat because our foundation is flat. So this one here in the 50-50 clear coat is mixed three one to one. And this is a high solids clear coat. And what the solids means is after the solvents come out, what is left on the actual car or parts that you're painting. So. You guys may have a clear coat that you're spraying at the house and it looks really good and it lays down flat, but what's left after you actually get the solvents out of that clear coat, what's left on there, that way you have good protection. So this is a top of the line clear coat. This isn't something that you would use on every single job, but when you're doing a high end job, and especially me, if I was gonna do a custom paint job, I wouldn't mind spending the extra money knowing that that paint is gonna last a lot longer and I'm gonna have that much better of a shine and hold out on my job. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this one up and get this thing cleared up.
All right, so that's one coat of clear. And the first thing I can tell you about the clear is it's a lot easier to spray than that 2021. So, and I'm telling you, they're neck and neck for the solids count. So this one here is definitely a lot less uh, hard to spray. If you guys don't like the way that the 2021 has to be applied, this one is definitely a lot nicer. So, so far so good. We got a beautiful coat on there. We're gonna let it set up because I'm using all slow products on this one. And then we'll go back in and we'll hit it with coat two and I'll show it to you guys all finished up. All right, so that's the clear. We're gonna go ahead, we'll bake it, and then we'll bring it outside and check it out and see how good it holds its gloss after a bake because that's key to a good clear coat. All right, so check out this clear, guys. I'm telling you, the gloss retention on this one is phenomenal. You guys see we had a big hood and we definitely put it on nice and wet and then baked it. And we do not have any dieback at all. And you guys know we're using a water base here. But look at the gloss on this one out in the sun. And you guys seen it in the shop. So this one here is definitely top of the line for sure. And I'm gonna be starting to use this one more often especially on these high-end jobs because this is a phenomenal clear coat check out the gloss on this one no orange peel or very very limited orange peel with this one at all so if you're looking for that show car look this is going to be the clear for you all right so that's a premium clear coat you guys see the gloss level and how flat and beautiful that stuff looks right off the gun so when I mixed the clear up, I did notice in the mixture on the screen, when I went to put it in the computer, it does say performance glamour clear. So it definitely should kick a little bit quicker than the 2021. So I'm not sure if they use some of the technology in this clear that they had back from the 8152. Cause if you guys know, they did discontinue the global line. And now we have this one here in the uh, Deltron line for the performance glamour. So Definitely a top of the line clear and I'm looking forward to spraying some more with this one and getting some beautiful jobs. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one.